Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. We are back with another solo RPG sim app, and of course, since the new raid drop, we are gonna be doing the Endless Dungeon on Fake Shaska. Um, if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering where is the video going over to three new swords. That video will be the next one up on my channel. It just takes a really long time to grind levels while AFKing in this game, unfortunately. I am hoping that we at least make it to the first boss, because we do have 50 million health, the only concern is we're not going to be doing a ton of damage. That is where we're going to kind of struggle here compared to my uh, main account. But anyways, Snow Queen, Ice Queen, Snow, whatever the heck, whatever you want to call this rune, I never remember its name, is very, very good in here because this attack here, the uh, Mending Sword variant of it, does a lot of damage in a uh, lot of area. It's mainly good because of how much space it takes up. So basically, what I think we're going to be doing in here is trying to group everybody up relatively in the middle and then if i can group everybody up relatively like this it is able to damage well everybody at once and then we just use shatter on the people that don't die immediately to mending and we should be pretty okay so far this is going pretty good the criticals on the mending do 1.17 billion which is a lot Anyways, we're already on wave 4 here. We're kind of speeding through this pretty quickly. It's only been about 2 minutes. We're not doing too bad. And we haven't really taken any damage yet. So, so far, so good. Honestly, out of everything, I'm kind of hoping to get crafting materials mainly for, like, the runes. I feel like Rune of Insanity on Fake Shosko would be pretty nice. Overall, though, it is kind of nice to finally have something properly new to do on Fake Shosko. Like, I've been wanting to make videos with the alt account and doing some solo stuff but the only solo stuff i have left to do is the stuff that you only do solo as a challenge and not the farm so it's like it's a little tricky anyways we're finally having the dragon mobs from the uh, lava area spawning in the lava zone whatever it's called i think that's the baby dragon boss anyways we are um still doing all right we're actually taking damage now so i do need to be a little bit careful i can't be as careless you know they actually do hurt a little bit that should clean them all up, shatter in the middle, perfect, awesome. It is kind of weird now because, think about this, isn't it kind of weird that the hardest thing to do at level 1300 EOT was added first and then the next two things added after for uh, activities to do at level 1300 were both consecutively easier? Like Realm of Shadows is harder than this, this is easier than Realm of Shadows and was added last, and then EOT is harder than Realm of Shadows, and that was added first. Kind of weird if you think about it, but, you know, it works. I'm definitely a fan of the fact that there's a lot of crafting to do in the game nowadays, rather than just grinding raids for a tiny, tiny drop chance of something that you may never get. Wow, those two guys just did not die. So the Grim Reapers have a lot of health, and so does... Oh, that hurt. I love when they hit you with the rock, and you just, um, can't use any move, and they just you know, make you wait the whole 10 seconds on the shatter cooldown to use it again. Always my favorite thing when doing this raid. Gotta get my mending back. We should be able to just instant wipe all these guys. Just do that, and then shatter. Perfect. They were all... Bro, how are you still alive? There we go. That guy is the giga chat of the group. But anyways, it's always so satisfying when you get them all grouped up super tight, and then you just do that and wipe them all out in one move always my favorite okay so overall it just kind of seems like you got to get into the flow of it you pretty much just dodge the attacks group them all up with your mending and shatter and then just destroy them men i, I know some people are probably gonna be thinking like maybe stuff like lunar or azur or um even insanity maybe zephyr might be better in here maybe even light rune or snow angel but the reason why this is so good is because the mending attack is such a massive radius like it's, it's a huge huge radius and every single tick does do a massive amount of damage so overall it is a fantastic move to use in here and a fantastic rune to use in here it's kind of nice using snow um snow queen ice cream whatever it's called again because for the longest time the only runes you'd ever use was like lunar soul and snow angel and that's kind of it and zephyr when that got added a few months ago zephyr is also pretty fun to use all right Okay, I'll just I'll just do that instead of risking it. All right. Oh, there's that awesome thing. I love it when you get attacked right when you use shatter because if you're in the air and you use shatter, nothing happens. It is just mm, so awesome every single time. And it's just you left, right? How much health do you have? You actually have a lot of health. 
I'm gonna not stand in front of you and die, because that would be a horrible way to uh, lose. Okay, here we go. We're gonna be a bit careful here. It's wave 16, and we are starting to take a lot more damage. I think we'll be able to get to wave 20. Now, the question is, how hard will the uh, boss be on fake shots go? Because he's a lot weaker. Bro, how do you have so much health? He's That mob is still half health. I, I have no idea how that guy's still half health. So one thing I might want to try to do is I might want to try to kill all the mobs and then after all the mobs are dead I might want to switch to a different rune to get a little bit more uh, damage on the boss. Now, Ice Queen is really not that great for mobbing. I mean, sorry, Ice Queen is great for mobbing. I meant to say Ice Queen is not necessarily the best rune in the world for bossing. Okay, it's getting a little bit crazy, but all the mobs for the most part seem to be pretty grouped up. Just do that, do that. Okay, most of them are gone, and we're getting okay damage off on the boss. God, how did these guys get so far left behind all the way back here? And why is this guy not moving? Move. That's that's so annoying. Dude, why are you not moving either? Okay, is that all of them? Okay, that's all the mobs. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to put on Lunar, and I want to use... I want to use you, and I want to... What? Did I just die? Or is it because I tried to switch runes? I genuinely have no idea what just happened. Anyways, we're going to switch to this rune, and I think Lunar is definitely going to be a lot better at killing him. But still, I have no idea if I just died or what on earth just happened at all. No idea. Okay, is it just me, or is Lunar, like, totally sucking in here? That's not that... That's not very good. That's not very good at all. Let's use Flame. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't very good at all. Flame God? Question mark? The usual? I mean, that's doing better. I mean, I think we'll defeat him. This is this just might take a little while. I mean we'll win. Dude, stop putting down attacks. Let me let me attack the floor. He's like not giving me any chances here. Oh god. Okay, so um Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Ice Queen is faster at killing this guy. Let's just put Ice Queen back on. Maybe I've been crazy this whole time. Yeah, 2% HP left. Should be this, and then I should be able to keep going. Right? Can you die? Please? 0% HP, and he's still walking at me. What? Okay. Alright. Mans is immortal. <gasps> Did we get a drop? Did we finally get dropped? We finally got a drop. Lingering Malice. Okay. Isn't that from... Re Call me crazy, but I swear to God, Lingering Malice was one of the ones from Realm of Shadows. If I'm wrong, please comment down below, but I swear Lingering Malice is uh, from both. Oh, I didn't mention this earlier, but I've noticed I have been getting raid coins, if I'm correct about that from this raid. So, that's pretty nice, because the only raid that you can really get raid coins in... Um, effectively, which for some odd reason Realm of Shadows you can't, is a uh, Hive. Still. Which is like a two-year-old raid. Okay, that was pretty bad. I almost just died. Alright, we actually almost died there. I wouldn't be too shocked if we die pretty soon. We could definitely go a lot farther, but, um, I don't know. I keep, I keep messing up. Dang it. Okay, well, you know what? I'm not- wait, we're still going? No? Okay, that's what I thought. I thought we were still going for a sec. Wave 27 really isn't that amazing. I definitely think we could go farther than that. But for the first run on Fake Shosko, I think Wave 27 is pretty, it's pretty okay. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching my solo RPG Sim Ep. Let me know down below what you guys want to see in the next one. And also stay tuned for that video going over all the new swords. That will be the next video up on this channel. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Bye.